Sydney Jolson from Zeal to Heal, and I'm so excited to continue this series on spirit, soul, and body. Today we're going to be looking at how the soul can experience transformation. Ephesians 1 verse 13 and 14. You have been sealed with the Holy Spirit. When you believed in Jesus, the Holy Spirit is your down payment on the inheritance that is applied towards our redemption as God's people. This is for His honor and glory. Your spirit has been completely redeemed and purchased. He has also brought redemption power for your soul and your body. Your spirit has been completely sealed, vacuum packed. It is uncontaminatable. It cannot be polluted or impured in any way. Your soul experiences transformation by releasing that which God has already placed in your spirit. You are perfect. You are holy. You are righteous in your spirit. You are the righteousness of Christ Jesus. You are no longer a sinner but you are a saint. When you believed in Jesus, he cleaned you up completely and he has made you holy. Your new identity, your new creation reality is Christ has made his home inside of you. He has put everything that you need for life, godliness, miracles, breakthroughs, and for his power to be manifest in your life, in your circumstances, it's already laid up for you in your spirit. You do not have an inadequate spirit. You do not have a smaller version or a lesser than anyone else. You have the measure, the full, complete, finished work of Christ's death, his burial, and his resurrection. Romans 6, verse 6. We know that our old selves was crucified with him, Christ Jesus, that the body of sin might be brought to nothing, that we would no longer be enslaved to sin. There is still a remnant, there is still a residue, an impact of our old lives through our learnings, through our thoughts, through our good and bad habits, it's through generational um, influences either godly or, or ungodly, occultic practices, rituals that we have entertained, that we have agreed to and done, vows, oaths, covenants, agreements, partnerships, sexual sin. All those things have a bearing and an impact on our soul and the state of our living. All these residues, what the Bible calls the body of sin, is still having an influence and a bearing on our life today. It is so important that we would align, that we would agree with, partner, find ourselves based in the identity that comes through Christ Jesus, releasing from our spirits the fullness that he's put inside of us into our souls and our bodies. The best way I can describe this is by showing you this illustration of a non-reverse valve. On the right, you will see the spirit. The valve centerpiece is the soul. And to remind us that the soul is the mind and the heart. And then on the left hand side, it is the body. You can see the arrows pointing from the spirit to the body because it is a one way flow. The flow cannot go and contaminate the spirit. It is a non reverse valve system. And so we have been given everything in our spirit, how we open it, how we release it, how we bring it to manifesting in our lives, our souls and our bodies, is by opening, agreeing, partnering with, aligning to our new spirit man. 
the identity in Christ Jesus. It's your choice. It's your agreement. Your will needs to be in operation. There needs to be a verbal, believing, faithful transaction in the spiritual, releasing from the spirit to bring an impact, a change, and a transformation in our souls. I want to encourage you, listen to session four, as I'm going to give some practical examples of transformation of the soul. God bless you.